That's the end of the wings. 90 wings gone. The boys ate a whole bunch of them. I think they ate like 30 or 40 of them. Which one? Fine, Lynn. Well, that's why we bought them. Because, yeah. again, I don't want to waste the gift card. And I knew I was going to lose like a $20 part of a gift card. Chicken wings. Fun for the whole family. Take a look mm -hmm. at dinner tomorrow night. Yum. One pound a piece ribeyes. I have a feeling that one is even bigger than a pound. So I have a feeling that one's yours. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time Charity makes a decision to go this way or that way, you'll be alerted to it. So good morning. It is Thursday. It we is only Thursday. have two more days left in 2021. Anything you wanna wanna get in there before the the buzzer rings? See ya. All right. Good morning, see ya. <laughs> right. Well. Oh, you're. Oh, you wanna make sure that you tell 2021. Goodbye. 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 Good day, sir. So yeah, I have a little bit of work today, um, and then I don't know. I'm gonna see how things go. I, I, I it's kind of weird. I don't feel like overwhelmed with. You gotta get this done, this done, this done, and all within the next day. So you're kind of like, well, there's something missing. Well, we're getting caught up on some editing of videos. But well, it, the holidays are done. It's nice that the rooms were for the most part like finished up. Um, the granite guy's supposed to come next week to come look at our window. Got like a couple of panels to hang. Yeah, I have like three sound panels to hang. And then we're going to show you guys what the room looks like. And I have to finish putting the baseboard. But that's literally like five minutes to do that. But I'm not like under the gun. So that, that stress is like whoo, going away. And as I have de the house, you know how like there was all these blank spaces because you... you move a lot of stuff out and then just have nothing and then add Christmas layers. As the Christmas layers have come off, I'm leaving the spaces open. This is the year where I do not drown underneath my own knickknacks. Well, yeah, I mean, we, we had like a big chair that nobody ever, ever sat used, in, except so for Tabitha. We gave that away. But the, the other thing is, is we have the Oculus Quest and we've been playing that there's some really cool like exercise things. They actually have some exercise apps, but some room. of them do require like a subscription and I don't really want to do a subscription. We may try the 30 day free ones yeah, and then move on to another 30 day free one or something like that. But I like even just a lot of the movement ones may not be portrayed it's as cardio. fitness, but it's still like getting you moving. Yeah, like we have a Creed one, which is pretty much like boxing. And there's even training in there, like where they call it exercise training, where you're like sparring with Rocky and stuff, but you get a good sweat going with that. The Beat Saber, you get a good sweat going with that. So we need room for that. Plus we've been playing with Caleb. He kicks my butt, but uh, we've been having fun. So you need a big open area. I've created a monster with an espresso. It yeah. was supposed to be a once in a while special coffee. But now, now she's like, no, I want coffee and I want an espresso. Well, I've noticed that that you two are having a, a, a accompaniment cup of coffee, sir. So yeah, but, you must be enjoying it also. Well, I'm not letting you have one of these without me. Oh, oh, I see what it is. It, it doesn't work that way. You, okay. don't, you don't get something that I don't get. What was, you know, Ooh, this sounds like Rachel pre- Beef, butter, bacon, and egg. Well, with food and stuff, you you can have the extra, but with not, fancy not, not want fancy coffee like this. Well, I've always loved espresso. Yeah, and it is a treat. About how much do you think each bulb is? Even if, like if we get them on sale, they're never on sale. Oh, so um, you can sign up for like rewards, or every once in a while they do stuff on Nespresso's website where 
you uh, you buy X amount of sleeves and they give you this frame once you buy that many sleeves and stuff like that. But even Bed Bath & Beyond, you can't use coupons on them. Oh, wow. So they're never really on sale. They know what they have. Yeah. They have a high price value on themselves. Now they do have on Amazon, although I've not purchased it and tried it out, the reviews say they work where you can um, buy like these uh, either refillable pods for the newer line of Nespresso. Like a K-cup type thing? Yeah. Uh, or also where you can basically peel off the label of your old ones, repack them. Seems like a lot of work. And then put a cover on the top of it. Because what it is, is it has something called DRM, which for the most part, I'm not usually a fan of. And, and basically what it is, is that little foil pouch on the top that tells the machine this is a real in the pod. And not a feature. And it also tells it how much water it's supposed to put for each Which one. Which is nice. If you remember a while back, um, K-Cup tried that with the K-Cup 2.0. Right. And they basically eliminated every off-brand K-Cup out there that wasn't paying them royalties. And they quickly got rid of it because people weren't buying K-Cups. Yeah, because um, so, we want discounts. Yeah, so uh, I ha I may try that, but it, yeah, like you said, it's a lot of work for me to go and get it and repack, especially because Espresso has to be packed Really packed. Um, but they work out to be about a dollar per pot, oh. which is expensive. But that's still like It's cheaper than, than going to, to Starbucks. Or Starbucks. I mean, Heck, I think even in our church, it's like two fifty or three dollars, right? So wherever you go, <laughs> at least coffee in a coffee shop is expensive. So if I get a coffee shop experience at home for fifty percent of the price, I'm good with that. At least all of the money from the church oh, coffee shop absolutely. goes to fight human trafficking. Oh, absolutely. But but what my point is, is it can be expensive with coffee. True. So, so we have an espresso. It's a double shot espresso. And what we do is we put one drop of sucralose in. That's all Which you sounds need. crazy, but We even put it's it sweet. into like in a little eyedropper kind of bottle. Yeah, because we don't even trust the bottle that the sucralose comes in. It's going to come out like bloop. Yeah. Oh man, I just ruined it. Yep. And then we have here, this is regular coffee. And then I put a half a scoop of chocolate peanut butter keto chow and one egg in the entire pot. I love it. Got a little bit of mail before I go wake up Anthony. We got mail. Now, this this goes along. Ooh, oh, wow. This goes along with the game we got the other day. And I... Forgot who said they sent it because they sent me a message saying that um, they sent us stuff, but it was no way to say uh, that their gift and it was coming in a couple oh, different no. ones. So, I'm so I sorry. will look it up and, and mention it. We really want to honor that person. Um, and it, it stinks sometimes Thank when you. Amazon doesn't allow you to put like who a gift is from. Aww. So, this is another game. This is called Taco Cat Go Cheese Pizza. A social card game that is going to change your game night forever. Are you ready for some hand slapping mayhem? Uh oh. Uh -oh. This, this is not going to go good. A hand family. slapping? This addictive game is unique as its name. It's a power packed, quick and simple party game. Race against each other to slap a match between a card and spoken word. But watch out. Your mind will play tricks on you. This game was engineered for maximum fun. I think what I'm going to do if we have to slap hands with one another is get, I have those little, I get those little buzzer things that make a distinct noise at church. And it's like, bing, boing, 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 boing. That oh, thing, yes. ding, dong. So that like you can, like you can have something to slap in front of you. Because I feel like so, if you slap my mama's hands, cheese, you're going to be bringing back goat. a nub. Okay. So... It says all players uh, must complete the actions below immediately when a special card is rewarded and then slap oh, the pile. pile. Okay, good. If a player does the wrong action or the last is slapped the pile, they must pick up cards. Okay. Okay, all players beat their chest. They knock on the table with both hands. They slap your hands above your head to form a horn. Oh my gosh. Winning the game. The game ends when a player with no remaining cards in the first is correct to slap a match or a special card. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, so... New Year's Eve, Anthony and Caleb are having people over. Can you even imagine, like, the youth playing Yeah, we'll have this. to figure this one out. We'll have to play this. I think this is going to be awesome. If any player slaps or even starts but jerks it back, flinches, they forfeit the round and have to pick up all the cards in the center. 
Wow. You have to keep a steady, fast rhythm in the game. If you break it by forgetting what you're supposed to be saying or by not uh, noticing it's your turn, you have to pick up all the cards. Wow. All players must put cards in the pile by flipping them over facing outward. If a player uh, clearly looks at their card before placing it in the pile, they forfeit the round and pick up all the cards. Then these rules spell it out. No cheating. Well, I think Anthony is really going to like this game because he is the condo commando of board games. And like, both of us are. He is such a rules enforcer. It's like there, there's no such thing as house rules in Uno. Like, they, it will not be allowed. So it, this is exciting. Thank okay. you for sending Thank this to us. Thank you very much. My hands are covered in cuts. Because those Your knives new really knives, work. well, again, you're used to handling my other knives, and it's like you can kind of be careful, but not have to be careful. It's they are so thin you don't even realize you're touching the edge, and it, it's like it's not even like cut. It, if you even put your finger on the edge, you've just it's like literally putting your finger on a razor blade on the edge of a razor. Blade. So I just have to I have to learn to have more care, and and I'm not normally like ginger about things. Well, this is probably a good thing that's going to train you for life mm -hmm. right i mean this is this is good yeah I'd if love you for are you to be more curious careful. yeah so rachel's mom got me a professional knife set for christmas which i love and it is the the hinkles um they're like the pro edge blade so really 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 good set i'm excited about them we got the whole thing with the knives and this you know the the chef knife the bread knife everything with it the only thing it didn't come with was a brisket knife but i already had a hinkles brisket knife right so i just pulled out the honing stone i'm going to store that in the drawer and will you ever the chef's need go in there will you ever need to sharpen these knives is the question well yeah you always want to hone your knives and stuff and i know how to do that now thanks to anthony he taught me how to hone a knife i did not know i knew how to sharpen a knife but not how to do the honing and stuff wow. so we're gonna go get our day started and we'll vlog throughout the day anthony got a present from gene what'd you get i don't know Oh, Ros good? <laughs> Poor Roscoe just tried to jump up on the chair and he like grabbed on the sheet and the sheet slid. <laughs> What'd you get? The Keto Chow. Oh, because Keto Chow came out with those and we said that Anthony collects playing cards. So I guess he sent That's you funny. his. Did, did you see the Joker? Yeah, I did. It's Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gene. <laughs> Hey, one of your boxes came. Oh, is that from, what's, it's not Black Friday. What is after Christmas called? Day after Christmas. Okay. <laughs> well, usually we go and buy a bunch of stuff on clearance. The like day, razors. Yeah, after um, after Christmas, but we just didn't feel like getting out of the bed and we didn't think there'd be anything left anyway. So we went online and Walmart and Bath and Body Works both had some like crazy good deals. So. We didn't get like normal. Normally we would spend like $200 on razors, but it's enough razors to go For, the entire year because they're 50% off. There's a lot of body to cover in this house. Oh yeah, we got razors. So this is the Harry, Harry's Hotel. Yeah. Yeah, it's like. So we buy all the gift sets, yeah. like whatever they it's hard have. To open this, but this is what it comes with. And I think you that know. was like five bucks, and so it was like a razor and it was two seventy-five blades. percent off. So you get, yeah, the razor, the shave gel, and two blades, and the boys, you know, use it too. Oh, Burt's Bees. I mean, everything we got was at least seventy-five percent off. That's why we got it. So yum. Oh, good. The boys will be happy and so will mama. I've got to change out the shampoo and conditioner that we have in the RV because it's just, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of the smell. That's good. We got, let me see, four more of these and three more of these. So this will last us like pretty much six months at least with the boys too not that one bottle no the, the no the amount that we got no like the whole amount that we got will get us you know at least halfway through the year tabitha is ready to help with any work that needs to be done in the house she's got her lowe's hammer just like a kid she only wants the toys that make noise 
It's a good thing you're a dog with a soft mouth because those are scary teeth. They are scary teeth. Scary teeth, scary teeth, scary teeth. Can I have it? Give it to me. Drop. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Stay. Go get it. Good girl. Okay, give it to me. Drop. Sit. Sit. Ready? Nope. Come back. Come back here. Sit. Sit. Stay. Go get it. Go get it. Good girl. Stay. Okay, go get it. Go get it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. You did it. You did it. Okay. We're going to try it. Tabitha was able to do things. You can too. Okay, Boaz? All right. Stay. Don't move off the couch. Stay. You can do it. Good boy. Yay, Boaz. Are you ready to be on camera even though you haven't taken a shower? No, I actually thought we were just going to like drop off the car and run and no one would have to see my ugly self, but it looks like we're stuck here for a minute. So as I told you the other day, Rachel's car, one of the tires has a gouge in the side and another tire has a big giant bubble where the tread is, I guess, starting to separate. And we have an extended warranty. And uh, we went up to Tire Kingdom and the guy said, I'll call you back tomorrow. And I gave him two days. And then I finally called them back yesterday. What's the dealio? And I said to him, hey, what's going on with the car? And he's like, listen, I am too busy of a person to be bothered with dealing with the warranty. So go find someplace else to buy your tires. Fantastic customer service. So I will never again <laughs> buy a tire from Tire Kingdom. And that's where we usually buy our tires. So now we're dropping off the car at Volkswagen. I ran up here yesterday, made an appointment. He said, no problem, bring it up tomorrow. We'll get two new tires and we will be happy to deal with the warranty company. Okay, we're gonna go to the store, but before we do, we're gonna start our steaks. We're gonna make them in sous vide mode in the Innova Precision Oven. So I have two ribeyes here. One is slightly thicker than the other one, so we're gonna put the temperature probe in the thicker one, and uh, we're gonna set it for 125 degrees. And the cool thing about sous vide is you can't overcook it. It is not gonna cook these steaks to over 125 degrees. But by the time we get home, they should be perfect. And then all we'll have to do is put them either on the Blackstone or in a cast iron to sear them and we'll have perfect steaks. So we don't even have to worry about preheating it since it's just gonna go up to the right temperature. So I've set it for 125 degrees. I've got the probe temperature for 123.8 because you wanna set it for a little bit lower than what you want your steak to be, which for me is about 132 degrees because when you sear it, it's gonna cook it a little bit more. So we're gonna go ahead and just open up the oven Plug the probe in right here, put it in, let it go. And the cool thing about using the Innova Precision Oven over a regular sous vide is we don't need any bags, but it is cooking at 100% humidity. Since today is December 30th and in two days we're doing beef butter, bacon, eggs, and keto chow, I'm going to enjoy one of Michelle's chocolate truffles. Balls! So good. Recipe's up here. I know you're staring at it. You can have the other half. Thank you. Balls. Mm. They're so good. I think we put a little bit too much cocoa powder on them though. Did we? So we just got home. Steak is at the proper temperature in the Innova oven. I just put some onions over on the electric blackstone. We're gonna have some sauteed onions with our steak. Now I'm gonna take my cast iron and get it heated up and sear the steaks. So we have our steaks here. We went ahead and dried them with paper towels. Now we're gonna put a little bit of Redmond organic garlic pepper, and then we can go ahead and sear them. Okay, pan should be up to temperature. We're gonna go ahead and put just a touch of bacon grease on here. Get that hot. Go ahead and turn on the fan. 
Was there a magic trick? I smoked this out just a little bit. Just a little. That's why I don't normally sear steaks in the house, but laziness, it's also faster to heat my cast iron than it is to go heat the Blackstone or as, turn on the barbecue. As I'm looking at this, I instantly forgive you. Yeah. <laughs> this looks awesome. So we each have a ribeye. Um, it's about 468 grams. Wow. So whatever that works out to be for pounds, I have no idea. Mm. Uh, I sauteed a little bit of onions. I like onions more than Rachel, so I've got a little bit more. It's about a half an onion between the two of Ooh, us. Oh, and you got some cranberry sauce? But we're about to do beef butter, bacon, eggs, and keto chow, so onions will be no more. Get it in while the getting's good. And then we still have some more cranberry sauce left mm. over. So let's go wow. ahead and try this. Now, I am honestly not the biggest ribeye fan, unless I'm having prime rib. I'd much prefer to have a New York strip, but when you sous vide it. Wow, it's just perfect. Let's go ahead and take a look straight down the middle. Just perfection. And see how this came out. And you can see there, look at that, pink all the way through. And we didn't have to do anything. We didn't have to babysit it. It just goes in the oven, well, it maintains the temperature. We had to change a plan. And we had to go from one city to another on an errand. Mm -hmm. And yet, we didn't burn dinner. And the entire time, I was able to monitor it with my phone. So I was able to know exactly where the temperature was, come home, turn on the stove, and voila, we're done. It's just the perfect way to cook a steak if you don't have time to baby it, maybe do a reverse sear or something like that. Yeah. Just sticking it in a sous vide. Absolutely love the Innova Precision Oven. I will leave a link for it down below, but it's great because it's all in one. It fries everything, it dehydrates. But it, any sous vide it does everything. is a good investment, I think. <sighs> Finished. The Thursday night live stream. Yay! I'm what are you eating? I'm enjoying some eggs. <laughs> Those look like chocolate eggs. So this is Maria Emmerich's egg pudding, but I use scrambled eggs to make it, as per Chris from Keto Chow, because it's amazing this way. No farty smell. Smell. Not a single fart. And uh, instead of using cocoa powder, I used a scoop of Keto Chow uh, chocolate peanut butter, and I have a little bit of the Lolly's mm. uh, macadamia peanut butter on here, and mm. it is perfect. That is good. Mm. Mm. That is delicious. If you have kids that don't like eggs, make them pudding. Make them this. I'll leave a link for Maria's recipe down below. Again, you can make her recipe just the way it is with cocoa powder. I'm just using keto chow instead of cocoa powder. You can use any flavor keto chow you want. Mm -hmm. But it's so good. They're and not going to know there's eggs in there. We're not even using, in this recipe, we didn't even use a swerve. We just used the liquid sucralose. So there's no sugar alcohols at all in this. It's really, really tasty. Very, very low total carb. Mostly eggs. It's a great way to have dessert and get a bunch of protein in. So we got some mail. We got some mail. Right before we went on, we were running some errands and we stopped at the mailbox. Don't stab yourself. Sorry. Or me. Oof, you've already had it with those knives. Yeah. Man, we've got band-aids aplenty. Let's what we see get? what we got. It says, thank you so much for all the encouragement. I seriously love you guys. Kat from Catherine Mahone. Thank you so much. Okay. Wow. What is this? It says Harry Potter on it. <laughs> this is exciting. Are you able to open it? Do you need a scissor? Boop. I'm trying to open Thought it with a finger that has it? a bunch of slices oh, on it. Oh, wow. Guess what? <gasps> now we both have our oh. mischief managed. Thank you I, so much. I almost, I saw it on we Amazon. Have, 
we have secretly fought over this cup. I saw it on Amazon and almost bought one. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. Yeah, but you're gonna like this one. What is that? I chose <gasps> the good one. Oh my gosh, how adorkable is this? Yo! Oh my gosh, that's so stinking cute, it's Harry! I love that. I love that so much. Thank you so much. Your Harry wow. Potter fans. Wow, obviously. I love this. Well, let me break this. Put no, this let me there. put it on the table. We get this box right here. Oh, wait. Oh no. I'm keeping uh, those big ones like away that. from me. Oh, you, you me took the, the good ones. I know. Hand me the scissors, please. Mr. Mr. Distracts easily. Thanks so much, Kat. I can't wait to drink our coffee in that. Uh oh. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh my God. Oh, you're like Tabitha. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is that what I think? Oh it is? my gosh. If okay, you I'll pop that one more time, you're getting popped. Oh my gosh. It's the little people nativity. Wow. Wow. Oh, I know exactly where that's going. Oh my gosh. Since you just returned your Harry Potter dollhouse, you can yes. put that out now permanently. Oh my gosh, I'm totally putting it. So it's not the big one, but it's a start. Thank you so much for all you do for us. I appreciate you both, and I'm so grateful that I met you. You truly do feel like friends. Happy holidays from Rhiannon. Wow. Oh Thank my you gosh. So much. I love this so much. I actually um like I'm putting this in my she shed. I'm going to see this every single day. Thank you so much. I really really wanted this badly. Thank you very much. Wow, this is exciting. You never told me you wanted that. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, Thank for you thinking so of us. Much. Man. You guys, you, as we've said before, you guys don't need to send us presents. No. But wow, we appreciate it. We really do love, care about you guys, cherish your friendships, cherish being able to talk to you guys. Yes, every you're the Monday gift. And Thursday. Thank you so much. So uh, we are going to end our live stream here. Or I'm going to open up my presents. We're going to end our vlog Can here. Have some coffee. Because somebody said she wants to play the Oculus. I do. Let's play. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's slash some squares. So this is going to be the last vlog we have for 2021. Now, See you later, 2021. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel. We're gonna be doing lots of vlogging during beef, butter, bacon, eggs, and keto chow in the month of January. And we're gonna try doing a lot more vlogging throughout the entire year of 2022. Now, if you do need help, don't forget, uh, starting in January, we will have some coaching sessions and stuff like that that will be, all be on our website. There's a link for our website down below. But we're just excited to be entering into this new year with all of you guys, focusing on new year, new do. New do. Right? Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we have a new nativity, you'll be alerted to it. Till next year. Bye. Bye.